Soul Not For Sale. This is episode 451, Soul Not For Sale podcast. Let's get right into it. Tucker Carlson, Andrew Tate. Now, let me just be clear to YouTube right now. Tucker Carlson has not been banned from your platform. This is a Tucker Carlson interview, not an Andrew Tate interview. It is a Tucker Carlson interview, okay? I know Andrew Tate has been banned from the platform, but Tucker Carlson has not been banned, and this is his interview. It is not Andrew Tate's interview. It is not Andrew Tate's content. It is Tucker Carlson's content. I have to make that very clear. Now, if you haven't heard Tucker Carlson, actually, if you've watched his channel, you've heard from me. I said Tucker Carlson just sat down with Andrew Tate and that interview was coming. And who would know the very next day that interview would actually come out? But it has and it's on Tucker on Twitter and it's very, very long. And we're going to get to it. going to show you the store first. This is IamCoachColin.com, newest design right here. Soul not for sale with the stars and stripes atop of it. The stars and the stripes, the red, white, and blue. If you want to get this shirt, you go to catalog. You go to America Soul Not For Sale. You go there. Oh, Illuminati trying to stop me. Since when is my internet slow? Well, either way, there it is. I knew it. You go there and then all of a sudden you got T-shirts for men and women. You got tank tops for men and women and you got some hoodies. All of that is available on Coach, I am Coach And if you want 10% on any purchase you make on that site, you put in I am Coach Colin, all capital letters, all one word, one L on the Colin, and that will get you 10% off. And if you've gotten something from that site already, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are much appreciated. Let's get into this first. This is the three hour video, okay? So I'm gonna be pulling out all the best parts, but for right now, let's hear the monologue because that is something special as well. Let's get into it. What are you hearing at school? What are the Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. Imagine being a sixth grade boy in the United States right now. What are you hearing at school? What are they telling you on the internet? Well, they're telling you to stop being yourself. Sit still, stop joking, suppress your aggression, share your feelings, obey. Female qualities are virtuous. Masculine qualities are oppressive. That's the message. In case it wasn't clear enough, schools around the country have removed urinals from boys' bathrooms. The male body itself is shameful. Sit down when you pee like a good little girl. Views like this are often called feminism or woke politics, but in fact, they amount to mass conversion therapy, an attempt to change the fundamental nature of people. Nothing like this has ever been attempted at scale. It's one of the most grotesque and destructive experiments in human history. What would it be like to find yourself the subject of that experiment? as a boy trying to become a man during the Biden years. Well, you might kill yourself. Many have. You might decide to reject your own manhood and embrace androgyny or even switch sexes. Girls are better? Fine, I'll become one. Or more likely, you might simply withdraw into porn and weed and video games and give up on your life before it's begun. You might retire at 19, a less dramatic form of suicide. All around us, this is happening. Noticing it is forbidden, but that does not make it any less real. So it's probably not surprising that Andrew Tate was the most Googled man in the world last year. He offers a different vision. Tate is a former professional kickboxer who about a decade ago began posting advice to young men on social media. Tate's view is that men want respect above all. It's how they're wired. In order to get respect, men must become worthy of it. They must become more impressive. Wake up early, work as hard as you can, stay sober, find God, keep yourself physically fit, don't complain. That's his worldview. Earlier generations of Western leaders might have found parts of Tate's message inspiring. Now it's seen as a threat. The media treated him like a criminal up until the day he was officially classified as one. Just after Christmas last year, Tate and his brother Tristan were arrested and thrown into prison in Romania where they live. The Tates were held without charges for three months, very likely with the encouragement of the British and American governments. In June, they were charged with human trafficking. They're now under house arrest until their trial. 
Are the Tates guilty of human trafficking? We're not their lawyers, but it's worth noting that as of today, not a single woman has come forward to say that she was kidnapped or imprisoned or moved across international borders against her will by Andrew or Tristan Tate. It's also true that in some ways, the charges against the Tates seem inevitable, like they were always going to happen. Accusing a man of a sex crime is the fastest possible way to discredit what he's saying. Days after WikiLeaks revealed that the U.S. government had been spying on its allies and lying about it, Julian Assange was arrested in London for rape. Nine years later, prosecutors dropped the case against Assange for lack of evidence, though somehow that fact was not as widely covered. Is that what's happening here? Again, we don't know. Jeffrey Epstein's dinner partners insist that Andrew Tate is a pervert and a criminal. Maybe they're telling the truth. Either way, we think Tate's views about men very much deserve a hearing. So we flew to Romania to talk to him. We're posting the entire interview here on Twitter because we've been assured it will not be taken down for ideological reasons, as so much of his content has been. The video is long, but if you can, take the time to watch it. Make up your own mind about Andrew Tate. Here it is. So what are you charged with? That's a really good question. There you have it. I, I like to play that monologue first. Now I'm going to dig deep into this interview and pull out all the uh, all the most important things. But I like to play that monologue because that kind of prefaces the the conversation he's about to have, the way Tucker wanted to approach it. Tucker is not obviously not going to approach it like some BBC journalist and is going to go on this like attack spree and try to you know, manipulate his words and twist what he says around and not let him answer things. He's not going to go about it like that. He's going about it in a very friendly way, but he is asking questions. He is pushing on certain questions, certain points. He's trying to give everyone who hears this a clear understanding of what's actually going on as a journalist should, a real journalist should. So I just wanted to make that, and, and if we go into the monologue, what he was talking about, masculinity, it, it's so odd that it's become such a taboo subject. It just 20 years ago, anything that was LGBTQ was more taboo. Now you just discussing how you feel as a man and not wanting to go along with that whole uh, group and you don't want to go along with their beliefs and their tenets and their 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 agenda. Now that's the taboo thing. It's odd the way things have changed. One thing that Tucker said in that monologue is that the world leaders 15 years ago, 10 years ago, would have agreed with most of his message. And that's very true. And it's not just world leaders. It's just men of all races, colors, creeds, and ages would agree with this as well 15 years ago. You know, work hard. You know, a man, a man should protect a woman. A man should have say in a, in in his wife's life. A man should work towards finding a very virtuous woman. A man should find a woman who's not uh, extremely permis uh, promiscuous. All things make sense. Men men should work out. They should they should be stoic at times. You know, be a rock to lean on. Something that Jordan Peterson talks about. Be the person at your father's funeral that people can depend on. All of these things are things that he brings up. And, of course, because of the age we live in, we focus on the most salacious, wild things that he says. But I made a video yesterday about Theo Vaughn having Roseanne on his podcast. And Roseanne saying some unfavorable things. But she was joking. But nowadays, people just take the words, they leave out the inflection, they leave out the comedic intent, and they just run with the exact words that were said. And I, th that is what's happened with Andrew Tate. When you see him on his first big interview, which is between him, Tom Segura, and Tom Segura's wife, uh, Christina Pajinski, they have a conversation. Andrew Tate says a lot of wild things, but they can tell he's joking because they're comedians. 
their audience can tell that he's joking because they like to watch comedians. But somehow, the people who do not like him can't understand that these are jokes. And when you bring up the fact that a lot of these things that he was saying were just salacious and just jokes, they're just like, no, that's not something to joke about. But we know that if you watch any comedian throughout time, everything is something to joke about. Every, you can touch on anything. And eventually, when you have comedic intent, you're going to offend everybody at some point. You know, maybe not all at the same time, but at some point, everybody's going to get it. I know when I listen to a Bill Burr stand-up special, I'm, there's going to be a part that's pointed at me. You know, my demographic, who I am, whether it's as a man, maybe as a black person, may, you know, it's going to touch on something. It, it, it's just wild what they've done to Andrew Tate, the fact that he was held without really being on charges. And the thing that I really ask people to focus on is there hasn't been any real charges laid and there hasn't been any concrete accusations made by anyone but if you check out the internet if you check out destiny and all these different people talking about if you don't know who destiny is it's just another a new aged talking head cnn type of person uh debate type of person people say he's like the new ben shapiro people are having debates about you know, if he human trafficked or not. But like, if you look into the actual case, there's nothing, there's nothing there in terms of actual human trafficking. Because when I say human trafficking to you, you know what you're picturing. You're picturing somebody being grabbed, a door being closed, being locked from the outside, the person can't get out, they're calling up rich people, you know, having them fly on a plane, fly to an island, here's the person doing whatever you want. That type of thing. That's what we're all picturing, right? Nothing like that's happened to Andrew Tate. Nothing like that's been proven that Andrew Tate's done. Yet still, we talk about this whole, you know, if or if he didn't do it. There's no proof at all. And you're going to find out more about that as I bring out these clips. Again, this is Tucker Carlson content. This is not Andrew Tate content. So please, YouTube, do not try and just take a picture of his face like you can see here and say, oh, this has to be removed. This is a Tucker Carlson interview. Tucker Carlson content. As I have posted many times, so please be consistent. Nothing with Tucker Carlson gets removed. This should be no different. <sighs> other than that, guys, like the video. I'm about to bring you much more. And other than that, I am out. And if you have Twitter, check out the interview. It's long, but it's worth it.